Good evening Hackology, in tonight's video we're going to look at OCR from the command line in Linux and we're just going to be looking at how to take a simple image with some text on it and read the text off into a text file so let's get the screen capture started and uh, let's get to it <clears throat> okay so now that we've got the screen capture running if you don't have Festival installed what you'll need to do is uh, install it first and you can do this by uh, doing uh, sudo Dash get install gocr and gocr is the OCR software that we're going to be using for tonight's video. Uh, so if you run that and install that, and what you'll also need is a JPEG file, which we've got one here of the poem If by Rudyard Kipling. So just going to close that down and um, get rid of this text file. Let's switch back into the terminal. Okay, so to um, for basic OCR and Linux from the command line, uh, it's been the right directory, so I'm going to change the desktop. And I'm going to issue the command gocr i for the input file, and that's if.jpg. And we're going to output this to a text file, so we're going to do dash o if.jpg. Um, sorry, if dot text, and um, basically, if we leave that as it is and, and just execute that, what that will do is create a text file for us with all the default program settings in the um, in GOCR. And if I just show you the text here, you'll notice there are some characters missing here, there's some characters missing here, there's some characters missing here, and basically that's because the grey levels in this image are. Um, not optimal for GOCR to detect. So what we can do is if we switch back into the command line and we can do a dash L which basically defines the grey levels and if we say zero um, that tries to determine what they are automatically. So let's go and have a look at the text file again and see what's happened. Alright okay so not a lot change. Maybe the, um, the software isn't detecting the text too well. So let's switch back into the uh, command line once more and what you can do is you can set a manual value for the grey value and I've done a little bit of playing in there and I've found that uh, 215 with this particular image works pretty well. So let's see the results now that we've run um, GOCR using the 215 grey scale value and you can see that some of the characters are being picked up, some of them aren't. Uh, it all depends on the quality of your image, what font you're using, and um, your program settings. You'll notice that the characters have been replaced for underscores. There are other options that will replace them for things like spaces, or you could get it to replace it for a specific character. And um, it's really useful. Um, basically, if you've got a massive piece of text and you, you, it's in image format, and you really really don't want to type it or you've taken a photo of a document or something like that and you need to get it into a digital format GOCR is pretty good um, I haven't had chance to check out any of the uh, other OCR tools that are available but we're going to be using GOCR uh, with some other cool Linux tools in a future episode and we're going to combine them all into a little script and make Linux do some cool stuff that's OCR in Linux. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode. Have fun hacking as always. Um, big shout out to all the subscribers, all the viewers, um, everybody on Secfo, everybody on Control or Troll. You all rock and peace. See you soon.